y'all <laughs> it's called stupidly expensive things nba players pay for basically buy pay for buy yeah. yeah but if you're new to the channel you clicked on this video and you always come back to the channel you want to go ahead and smash that like button oh yeah smash that subscribe button yeah and hit that notification bell so you know we post it yep and, yep and make sure you go ahead and comment some reactions down below y'all like for us to see Without further ado, though, let's let's get into it. Let's, let's get into let's it. Let's see what these people buy. Kind of interesting. Let's find out this. One NBA player spent five million dollars to have the craziest night of his life. Another player spent twenty million to save his own life. These oh. are stupidly expensive things NBA stars own. And first up, Jimmy Butler. This man's been making millions. So to celebrate, he wanted to spend big. Oh, oh, oh. this is beautiful, man. This is much better than I could have ever imagined. Yeah, Jimmy made sure his boys put together the aquarium of his dream. A, a 10 foot tall boombox box. Boom box. with 600 okay. gallons of water and over 50 fish. The thing's even got built-in speakers. My fish gonna be bumping in? Jimmy's wet dream cost him over 40k. And yeah, that's not bad. the cheapest thing in this video. So let's level up to Steph Curry. Steph like Curry. He bought and that he from our universe. That's different though. Recently, Steph's found a futuristic way to blow a bag. With all the hype around I bet you it's gonna be a car he exploding, bought. Steph wanted to get in on the action. So he copped one of the most expensive uh. NFTs in the entire metaverse. Yeah, not only did he make it his profile pic, he upped in the NFT's group chat to let the world know he joined the club. And I know this thing <laughs> seems like nothing but a random picture of a monkey. What is that? But it's actually an exclusive board ape worth $180,000. Just look at Steph's face, man. This purchase definitely made him happy. I just wish I could say the same for Paul George's What? Birthday. Yeah, what is that, y'all? a quarter mil. What kind of group is that? biggest tragedy of his life. A quarter Three years meal. ago, Paul joined Team USA. I to guess it's gonna get worse. He had a quarter meal out. already. But during a scrimmage, when Paul ran down court for a chase oh, down the block, Paul's leg was completely shattered. So he was instantly thrown onto a stretcher, rushed to the hospital, and put into an emergency surgery. But a few hours later, when Paul woke up, even though doctors told him they expected a full recovery. Paul was devastated that at the prime of his career, he was forced out of basketball for an entire again? year. Until yeah. he got a special visit from Floyd Mayweather, Ooh. Floyd stopped by to cheer Paul up and gave him some financial advice. Then, ironically, right after, Paul made an Instagram post showing that he spent $265,000. Yeah. I don't know if Paul took Floyd's secret advice or just wanted to cheer himself up, but he copped a custom Ferrari Spider that he couldn't even drive. Just look how happy he is being a passenger. Paul even had the interior completely redesigned just to fit his tall ass. So yeah, it's definitely Paul's favorite purchase, and I'd hope so if he spent over 200k. But not every NBA player is selfish. John Wall spent triple that just to spoil his teammate. Yeah, once Wall signed a record-breaking $207 million contract, that was more money than he ever needed. So he hit up his boy, Santa Claus, for some Christmas <laughs> advice. And after some discussion, I'm guessing this is a commercial. The perfect gifts for Wall's teammates. Wall surprised every single one of his boys with custom gold rollies, completely oh. flooded in diamonds. Just look at them opening Everybody? these up. The boys were celebrating like they won a championship or something. I was just kidding. It was really Rolex. <laughs> wow. But hey, it's the Wizards, so let's be honest. 
those watches are the only trophies they're ever getting. Anyways, Damn. jewelers Damn. estimate Damn. that every single watch was worth at least $40,000, and some were worth over $70,000. So when you add all of that up, those Christmas gifts cost well around $750K. But PJ Tucker spent double because of his addiction. Every I, single day, PJ... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because he, he did it for the team. So he invested in his team because his team is the one who got him the money. If he is, he signed the contract, right? Or maybe I'm just talking. Yeah, I don't know. Help himself. He just keeps buying shoes. We're talking about a man who can't even walk in the store without spending sixteen bands. What? Sixteen thousand nine hundred forty-four dollars and fifty-seven cents. And PJ's shoe buying addiction is only getting more expensive. I mean, oh, in his crib, not only does he have closets full of them, he's got a secret shoe ball. And that's not even the crazy part. What? He admitted that just during the 2017 season, he spent over $200,000 just on shoes. And that's wow. when he bought one of his most expensive shoes ever, the Nike Air Mags. But luckily, he got nice these at a discount. They only cost him 36 k because nowadays, you can't even see the shoe. What? You're trying to spend around 50 racks. But these aren't even the most expensive shoes that PJ owns. Those came during the 2021 NBA Finals. And right when PJ showed them to his teammate Giannis, dude was speechless. These weren't just any shoes. They were diamond-covered Jordan 1s that cost $250,000. What? what? It must have been PJ's good luck charm. Never. That night, him and the Bucks won the championship. But during the post-game interview, Giannis was more excited to talk about PJ's shoes again than win the <laughs> ring. PJ! Hey, bring your shoe. In this guy today, he wore a 250,000 pair of shoes. He had the real diamond. I, sh I promise you. Now, as crazy as those drums <laughs> were, what? this is one of PJ's 5,000 pairs. Yeah, 5,000. And uh, oh, it's he's obviously impossible head. to keep that many shoes in one house. My dog is what did PJ do? Head. Well, something only PJ could do. He went out and bought his shoes, their own condo. Hey, what's up? It's PJ what? Tucker, and welcome to my sneaker loft. The loft is primarily <laughs> for storage. There wasn't enough space in my house to be able to put all Bro, my shoes, so I thought this man got a sneak, well, a, a sneaker lot, sneaker house. <laughs> Never, but hey, I ain't. He got the money for it, so I, I ain't even gonna knock him for that's it. That's a bad addiction, bro. Being a sneaker, that's a bad addiction. But I mean, it really don't matter now because his shit. If his foot don't grow anymore, he he never grows out of that shoe. So true, true. I mean, it's technically not a bad addiction because he doesn't grow out the shoes, so he gets to keep it unless he doesn't ruin his shoes. But you can always, you know, clean them shoes. Mm -hmm. So technically not. No, I gotta get a house. Just think about that. What this dude puts on his feet has a better house than you. <laughs> now, he has <laughs> over 5,000 shoes. His collection makes up over $1.5 million. What? Ben Simmons spent double Damn. to become the king of Philly. Back when Ben Simmons actually played basketball, he thought he'd be a sixer for luck. So he planned to cash out on a new crib in Philly. But still being a young kid, he wasn't ready for the responsibility of a house. And that's when he fell in love with one of the city's most prestigious condos. Ben copped himself a crib on the 25th floor of a Ritz Carlton. Three bedrooms, four bathrooms, floor to ceiling windows. I, I mean, you get insane views of the entire city. Ben spent so much money, his crib even came with 24 seven room service, his own chauffeur and a fitness center with a pool. That's, what I'm, that's the investment I'm talking about right there. That's a bomb ass investment. Purchase. But what he bought what? ain't as legendary as Dwayne Wade's purchase. That's a bomb. He spent double that for one night. Coming into Wade's 32nd birthday, he not only planned a celebration, he wanted to make the craziest purchase of his entire life. Wade's had the jewelry, he's bought the car. So this time, he wanted to go all up, and that's when he spent over five million dollars to not only buy a yacht, but get it completely customized for his birthday. 
Yeah, and not only did Wade get the name of the boat changed to the Way of Wade, it's really copped an outfit to match. Now listen, Wade's 130-foot yacht was completely decked out for his birthday bash. I'm talking about a full room dedicated to Wade's shoes, his own shoe K, a private fireworks show. Wade even made sure someone got hired just to spend all night rolling up. Oh. Of course, it ain't a party if the boys ain't there. That's Not right. Only did Wade's teammates pull up in front of everybody. LeBron let Wade know what's good. I love you. You already know it. Always get anything from me. Brian. Now a toast from LeBron? Five million dollars for a yacht? Things can't get much crazier than that. Oh. Right? Oh well, man. First, he let's talk about a million. Family spent nineteen million just because of his biggest fear. September eleventh, two thousand one. The day that everybody's lives changed forever, but especially Tracy McGrady's. When he heard news of planes being hijacked and the tragedies that came with it, he knew how often he had to travel from city to city. So no matter what Tracy was doing, he couldn't take his mind off airborne attacks. Now, since Tracy couldn't even play basketball without the thoughts, he was afraid to hop on any plane. But being an NBA player who needed to travel from state to state, Tracy had to figure out a solution, even if it was expensive. And that's when he made the most expensive purchase of his entire life, a private jet. I had, I had a Falcon 2000, so it was a corporate jet. It was one of the best traveling jets that you could have. How much was it? It was like, it, it was 19 million. <laughs> he said it was all right. <laughs> now, $19 million might seem crazy, but this ain't just any plane. Just look, it's not only comfortable, it allowed Tracy to conquer his fears of flying. But listen, it's just ironic how a player who's scared of being in the air joined the Rockets. But anyways, when you're bringing up spending tens of millions of dollars, one player knows it better than anybody. And not only is he a king of the court, he's the king of craziest purchases, LeBron James. Oh. Now, yeah, he looks like all the other NBA stars in this video, but whenever he lands in his private jet or hops in one of his million dollar supercars, he pulls up to something that costs 52 million. What? Yeah, LeBron's got one of the craziest cribs in the entire world. Wait. That is a freaking investment. If you're going to spend $54 million, $52, shoot, plus tax, that is an investment. It's probably the only investment I can agree on. Well, no, I can I can agree on the jet, and I can agree on this. Them shoes, that's on call for, bro. You're not going to wear all them shoes. You better wear a, di you better wear a different shoe every, every freaking damn day of the year. Listen. If I'm going to spend, if um, the most money I will spend on anything is a house. My house is my comfort zone. My house is where I will stay 24-7. Don't ask me to go nowhere. My house is where I want to stay. If I want to yeah. have company is a house. I will spend as mil but much as millions, best, billions best. of dollars on a house. It, it has to be a house. It will, will be a house. That's the most I spend on something. So this is a good investment. Wait a minute. You really bought a house that looks exactly like Ray from Black Ops 2. His mansion oh. has an outdoor pool with a fire pit in the middle. Mm -hmm. And no matter what he's doing outside, there's a ridiculous view of the Los Angeles skyline. But on the inside is where things get insane. Six bedrooms, ten bathrooms, walk-in closets, a game room. Eesh. We all know LeBron, man. Oh my of course God. he's got a wine cellar, a full gym, and a spa. He's even got an indoor garage for his $100,000 oh but it ain't just a it place to right. car. This house it's is even got a sick. man cave with a built-in golf simulator. Now, I'm not going to lie, man. LeBron's crib might be more legendary than his play on the court. And that's why it cost him over $52 million. Yeah. So LeBron is at the top of the game. But he's got nothing on what other NBA oh, legends are buying. I thought he was the one top. NBA legend spent a half a million dollars to survive a zombie apocalypse. Another legend's purchase almost got him killed. And I know you want to hear more about that. So just click this video right here. Dang. I know Michael Jordan topped. I think Michael Jordan's house was top of the top notch too. 
I don't yeah. think it was fifty two. I don't nah. think it was fifty two because I think it went back on the market. I think it was like four. It was I think it was only like four million. I think Michael Jordan beat what's it called LeBron Purchase. He had a bad, bad money addiction. Special but his, gambling. But his his house I think was only like four million or twelve. Four or twelve million. Mm -hmm. The one that he sold. I don't know about the one he got now. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is LeBron James. But that's a hell of a fifty two million? Sheesh. I, that's a yeah. I, that's a good investment. I I like I said I like houses that I can put money in. That's a nice like I would never want to leave my house. My dog didn't drop a bag. My dog dropped bags. It's the indoor spa for me. Like I like the spa. He got his own spa. That is so lit. <laughs> my dog got his own in, indoor parking garage. <laughs> <laughs> that's lit, y'all. That's lit. Uh, all right. Anyway, though. Anyway. If you're new to the channel, you like that video, make sure you smash the like button, yeah. smash the subscribe button, yeah. and hit the notification bell so you know we post posting. Punch it. And we're going to do another video whether y'all like that one or not, because I like those. So. Yes, that was very interesting. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're going to go back and do some more of those, because I like seeing those. I like what they be putting their money in to invest in. But, Garvey Gang is out. Deuces.